Okay, this is my chicken coop. Pretty much finished it now. Let's say it's probably about 95% done. I might have to eat, add a couple more sideboards on the inside of the coop. But it's pretty much done. It's probably about five and a half, six feet wide, almost eight feet deep, and six feet high. These are the vertical studs, I guess, or all new wood I bought from Lowe's, um, including the hardware cloth that I'm using as the, uh, the mesh you see here. I'd say this coupe probably cost, I don't know, four or five hundred dollars using new materials. I did use a lot of scrap materials I had. So the, uh, the siding you see here is leftover fence board I had from building the fence over there. So these were just leftover fence boards I put on the side. Put it over here as well. Here we've got a window for venting. Show you the inside. I did put a padlock on it because I've got a lot of kids here, so I don't want them opening the door. So inside, I've got a door that opens. There's a chain, holds it. I just put the the bar there so that they can, uh, so when they sleep at night, they can they go up there. This is a nest box here. And this here is removable in case you know I want to clean it later. I just put in some new bedding. The chicks, chickens are only, uh, no, I think they're gonna be three or four weeks old, so they're not sleeping out here yet. But anyways, there you can see the inside of the door. So I built, you know, I had that leftover piece of wood from whatever project before. I added, uh, I have a piece of par, you know, paracord. Had some leftover hardware, I just tied it to that. So that door, and you can see there's a string up here. And then here's the paracord from the outside. I can open or close the door. There's a little pulley on the inside. So I've got another lock here to keep the kids out. Or any wannabe chicken thieves, egg thieves. Here's a ramp. It's got two levels because Doing it straight here would be too steep, I thought, so I added a second level ramp here, and they seem to know how to go up and down just fine. Here they are here. Got two buff Orpingtons, an Americana, and a silver laced Wyan Dot. So they're still, I guess they're in their kind of teenage years here, so they're just losing their down, starting to get their feathers. Maybe in a couple weeks they can stay out here full time. I'm going to let them stay out all day today, because it's a nice hot day. And there's the door. I might put some more siding on here, but I don't have enough leftover fence boards, and I don't want to buy new ones yet. So, it's okay for now. There's another door here. So in case, you know, when it gets hot, I want to open it up to vent. You can open this. There you can see the pulley and the string. Another thing here, but no need to lock that. Got a little storage space up here, I guess. I can put I'm gonna put a broom here to clean whatever else I need. The ceiling, I use this. Uh, bought this new three pieces of uh, I don't know what it's called. It's plastic wavy stuff. And I bought these as well. So each of these was eight feet long, I think. So three of them fit perfectly across, going across. I angled it down so the rain would, you know, drip down this way. I used a bunch of leftover screws from, what, from whatever I had. I stapled the hardware cloth on the inside so it looks nice from the outside. Let's see, a lot of these hardware parts like these, these, the hinges, got all those from uh, Harbor Freight.
This whole area here used to be plants like that. Had to dig them all out. Extended this retaining wall area out to here to make it straight. Oh yeah, and this. Just a bunch of these leftover boards I had from the fence. So I made a little, you know, walking boardwalk. Put some leftover rocks and gravel around it. Probably gonna fill this area in with, in with the uh, plants that I had dug out. So I'll put some plants there. Underneath the dirt, I did put the hardware cloth down, you know, a few inches so the animals won't dig underneath. You know, and they're not going to be able to dig around here or here. Over here, there is hardware cloth under there so animals won't be able to dig under there. And then I put all the gravel around there. In the winter time, I probably block this window so it won't be too drafty. And then I might put a light, hang a light in here during the winter as well. Alright, that's about it.